Oh, hello, Bannon. It's good to see you again. Uh, what have you been up to for the last few weeks? Taking care of her bidding back in our star system. And you? This cabin is a nice upgrade from your last residence. At the very least, it's more... hygienic. Yeah, it's a miracle. A very kind human found me starving on the street. He bought food for me and offered me a job. He told me he helps people down their luck. He gave me this cabin, and instead of paying rent, he has me working for him, taking care of odd jobs. I don't make as much as I did when I worked other jobs in the past, but a rent-free house more than makes up for it. In the last few weeks, I've been able to buy all this furniture. Uh, speaking of which, I have a favor to ask of you, Bannon, if it's not too much trouble, of course. And what's that? Now that I actually own things on Earth, I'm a bit concerned as to how I would transfer them if I ever need to move. Would you be able to help with that? Sending you and your belongings to the Shadow Realm for storage is no trouble at all. I can even arrange for your belongings to be in stasis so that organic material doesn't decay. Your milk and eggs would remain as fresh as they were when first stored, eternally removed from the flow of time. Likewise, any pets or livestock would remain completely safe. You wouldn't need to worry about feeding them or providing them a breathable atmosphere, nor would their bladder create any messes in my pocket dimension. That's how I transported your cat to be taken care of by that Clavosian elder. And returning things to our realm of light from the Shadow Realm is equally as easy. Just don't ask me to move a couch, my veiny arm is too sensitive for heavy lifting. Oh, uh, of course! Thank you, that actually works perfectly! Wait, if you can make time stop in the Dark Realm, and keep organic matter completely safe, uh, then why do Zebu and I suffer so much when you send us there? First of all, Sen, it's the Shadow Realm, not the Dark Realm. All creation begins with light, and light creates shadow. Just as you can touch your shadow when facing away from a light source, I can only access the Shadow Realm because I am so close to her light. The closer you get to the light, the greater your shadow becomes, thus the Shadow Realm is as vast as her power, and secondly, because I hate you. Speaking of which, I am here today to return your shadow to you. Oh, please don't, Bandit. Things are finally working out for me. It will ruin everything I've built up. You of all people should know that. Shadow cannot exist without light. Zebo is attached to you, Sen, and you can no more be rid of him than a shadow. <laughs> Zebo, try not to bleed all over Sen's new floor. Two months, Zebo. Two months is all it took to accomplish this. I have a proper place to sleep that isn't crawling with insects. I own things. Not one-use items like napkins or sauce packets, but permanent things you keep that aren't taken away from you. I have food that I didn't have to steal, and I could only do all of this because you weren't here, Zebo. So just do us all a favor and get lost. You're right, Sin. You're better off without me. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean what I said. Well, I... I did. That time in the Shadow Realm changed me, Sen. I don't think I'll ever be the same again. I see now that my actions have hurt you. It would be better for me to get lost and die in this blizzard. I can't let you do that, Zebo. Of all the times to wander off and die, you would choose the moment your life could have taken a turn for the better. This is the first time you've ever shown remorse and consideration for others. Maybe there's hope for you yet, Zebo. Maybe this moment, in this snow-covered mountain, is the first step for you and I to reach greener pastures. You... you really think so, Sen? Only one way to find out. Win or lose, we'll find out together. Brother. Yeah, I have no idea how you literally walked away from someone you share a physical body with. Maybe a side effect of being in the Shadow Realm for so long, but that's against the rules. The Shadow cannot depart from that upon which the light shines. If you would use those legs to defy the will of her that sent me, I shall destroy them. Yeah.